The ninth day of December is designated the World Day Against Anti-Corruption by the United Nations as a day to raise awareness and restate global commitment to the anti-corruption fight. Nigeria is not left out of the celebrations as it joins the rest of the world to mark the event with the team, corruption and impediment to the sustainable development goals. In attendance are players from different sectors and school children. To set the ball rolling, the chairman of the interagency tax team on corruption and minister of mines and steel, Dr. Kayade Fayami, is of the opinion that while it is no longer news that the current administration is serious about fighting corruption, it is equally important for Nigerians to contribute their quarter to the fight to ensure that Nigeria does not continue to pay for corrupt practices. For us to succeed in this fight, we must say no to impunity and eliminate the syndrome of sacred cows. As a nation, our culture and practice must continue to evolve to institutionalize the following. Laws must be effectively and efficiently implemented and decisive sanctions imposed. This will preserve the integrity of our systems and save us valuable resources for sustainable development. Lending his voice, a representative of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime states that there must be a truly global stance and partnership for the fight against anti-corruption to succeed. Anti-corruption partnerships formed with the private sector, civil society and academia can ensure that everyone is united in ending corruption. We must also be innovative and creative in ensuring that corruption remains high on the world's agenda. The consensus at this event is that countries must unite and work against corruption to ensure development, peace and security world over. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.